Hello, in this tutorial, I'll show you how to send Bitcoin from Bitpanda to another wallet. The first thing I'd like you to do is to launch the Bitpanda mobile app and sign in with your credentials and complete any 2FA if prompted like I have done. So, the next step is to head to your portfolio by clicking on portfolio. If you have a portfolio set up, then go ahead and select Bitcoin. But if not, you can go ahead and click on the trade button. And once you click on trade button, click on send. And once you click on send, then select Bitcoin. For me to do this, I have to verify, but I cannot verify because of certain restrictions. But just follow the restrictions for the verification process to verify your account. And once you select send, then select Bitcoin. Ensure you use the correct Bitcoin network. Bitpanda supports only native SegWit, which is batched to two addresses, starting with BC1 for lower fees. Then select from your address book or tap plus to add a new one. Enter recipient's name, wallet type, if it's self, example self-hosted, and paste the BC1 address. Impute an amount above the minimum withdrawal threshold. Bitpanda requires a minimum to cover network fees. Make sure your BTC balance covers both the amount and any applicable network fee. Go ahead and tap go to summary. Double check all information, including recipient address, network, BTC amount, and fee details. Once you're done, tap confirm, then enter your 2FA code if enabled. Bitpanda will send a confirmation email, open it, and click the link to finalize the transaction. After confirmation, the transaction begins processing on the Bitcoin network. Estimated arrival is a few minutes to up to two hours for Bitcoin, depending on network congestion. Check its progress by clicking on the transaction ID in your Bitpanda history, transaction history. If you see insufficient funds, ensure your balance covers the chosen amount plus fees. Bitpanda may also pause withdrawals during internal or regulatory reviews, often resolved within hours, so contact support if issues persist. Withdrawals to non batch 32 or wrong network addresses will result in permanent loss. So go over this tutorial from the top to the bottom to get acquainted with the steps. And of course, once you're done, you'll be good to go. I hope that this tutorial marvelously helps you search.